The original Dragon's Dogma was a cult classic for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, and since then has been re-released multiple times across many different consoles as Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. Since then, fans have continued to question if Capcom will ever revisit the series and make Dragon's Dogma 2. So let's break down everything we know about the upcoming Dragon's Dogma 2. As always, links to the sources, if still available, will be down below, so make sure to check those out and support. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Fonked2 for updates on future videos. And with that out of the way, let's get right into it. Back in February of 2019, the game director of the Devil May Cry series and the original Dragon's Dogma made a comment that he did want to revisit the series in the future. He said, quote, So when discussions came up for Devil May Cry 5, I went to Kenzo, the Capcom founder, and I said, look, I want to make either Devil May Cry 5 or Dragon's Dogma 2 next. He said, okay, do whatever you want, do whichever one you want. So I thought, all right, you know what, let's do Devil May Cry 5, so we did that. So he says here he either wanted to do one or the other, they obviously chose Devil May Cry 5, which came out, did very well, and then he closes out by saying, quote, here we are, we are now finishing up Devil May Cry 5, but I had ideas for Dragon's Dogma 2 at the time as well, so here we are, it's the end of this project, and then he grins, and also says, I've always got around four different titles in mind, maybe about four different ideas that I'd love to make, but there's a difference between the titles that I'd love to make and titles that I think I should make next. But here we are, we are here, and I'm gearing up for my next project. We can't say what it is, but we are looking forward to getting to work on it. So this was in the beginning of 2019. Fast forward to the end of 2019 in September, he actually gave an update to IGN when asked about Devil May Cry finally being released and them announcing they aren't going to have any DLC for the game, the interviewer brought up the idea of Dragon's Dogma 2 again, which Itsuno responded saying, quote, We consider Dragon's Dogma to be an important franchise, but there's nothing more I can say right now. Now, Capcom has also announced that they are looking ahead and are targeting the next generation of consoles, the Xbox Scarlet and PlayStation 5 with big titles, so it's possible that this is where a Dragon's Dogma sequel could fit in sometime in the next generation of consoles and could be Capcom's way to introduce themselves to a whole new generation of players. Now with that background out of the way, let's get right into the Dragon's Dogma 2 leak. Now with all leaks, they should all be taken with a grain of salt. So some of it may be true, some of it may be false, or it could all be false, all be true. We just really don't know until we actually start hearing more about the game, but let's break it down anyways. Now, this leak is from an anonymous user, and they posted a list of some of the initial alleged details about the game. They start by saying that the development codename for the game is Project Bella. The next part says the game is a next-gen action-slash-tactical RPG, which is nothing too surprising and fits in with the previous title. They also say it's basically a Dragon's Dogma soft reboot and in another universe, which I'll touch on a little bit later. After that, they state that there's only one starting class, which is the Explorer, and then that can transition into four main classes, and then from there, 12 subclasses. Full character creation is only for your pawn, and it's vastly improved. Also, your character, the Arisen, will wear a mask that cannot be removed, and it's all tied to a curse. Speaking of the curse, the quote, break the curse is a provisional tagline for the game. They also state it's not a true open world game, but does have vast regions, a lot of dungeons, and a procedural underground tower, which as of now is unconfirmed. Also, there will be some sort of housing and camp slash settlement management to a lesser extent that can be part of the game and included in some of the mechanics. We can also expect random ambushes. Matsukawa is a lead designer. Itsuno will be on board next February or March. The core team is 90 people and 40 to 50 from other studios in Japan. Pre-production ended in September and the first quality test deadline is set for June. It's also running on the RE engine but heavily tweaked with new in-house middleware with AI and physics. So if pre-production ended in September, that lines up with the timeline that we've seen. 
that after Devil May Cry was wrapping up, they probably had already started looking at Dragon's Dogma. And then in September, that's when he gave the comment, there's nothing more I can say right now, which they were probably wrapping it up and starting to get the game in development. And the leak also closes out saying, quote, that's it. Don't expect any news anytime soon. My major source has been moved to another office in Osaka. This is more ambitious than any game made by Capcom in the last decade, and higher ups are pretty nervous. At the time, Nomura specifically is half-hearted about this entire project. Now, obviously, some of the more interesting pieces of information from this leak is that it will be running on the RE engine, which has me and many members of the community very interested in how this game will look, and if it's going to be on a new generation of consoles, all very interesting, and the game will probably end up looking very, very good. On top of that, some people are nervous about what the term soft reboot means, if it just means the story and universe will be changing, or if it could even be broader and go into gameplay itself, if it might shift into more of a Souls game. There's no real evidence for that, but there have been discussions in the community around if gameplay will change and what we'll see in the world now, and what a soft reboot truly means for this franchise. Also, because of the global crisis happening right now, it's likely that these deadlines have moved even further out. And I like the bit about higher-ups being nervous. Lately, Capcom has been doing very well with the Resident Evil remakes and Devil May Cry. The Resident Evil 8 leaks sound very interesting, but they also might be a big risk for the company because we've heard that they are trying to change up and it will be a big divergence for the series. So I could understand why they are also worried about a Dragon's Dogma reboot. The initial game did not hit the sales they wanted, so if development for a sequel is very expensive and switches up a lot of the core mechanics and what people liked about it, it could be a loss for them if this new title doesn't sell great and if they're already taking so many risks with Resident Evil 8. But that's everything we know about Dragon's Dogma 2 so far. I'm excited to see what Capcom is coming up with, and I hope some parts of this leak are true. Make sure to like and share this video, subscribe for weekly gaming news, and I will see you guys in the next one.